Normal cookies are so boring. There's so many recipes on the internet and they're all just, oh, flour, chocolate chips, whatever. Well, you know, I scoured the internet to try to find cookie recipes that are so weird, I don't think they should exist. And today we're gonna try them. And I have no idea what's about to happen. Cookies with Evan and Kate This should be illegal. This isn't a legal cookie. Would you like to see the very first ingredient of our first cookie recipe? As long as it's not seafood. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh! Oh, gross. Cookies? We are gonna make Cheeto Puffs cookies. Now, I actually think that these might be okay in a way. Okay. They have a chance to be okay because like sweet, salty, cheese, cheese powder, you know? I don't know. I'm down to give it a shot. So It's been years since I've had a puff. Can I just eat one right now? Yeah. Do they hold up? Yeah. It's so dry. It's so dry. I need water. <laughs> It's so dry. It turned into glue. I think that's good scientific input. This turns into glue once you add a little bit of moisture. Well, what is dough but a glue? <laughs> Anyways, here's what we're gonna start with. We need to combine four cups of Cheeto Puffs in this food processor. I'm just gonna like carefully puzzle piece them in. I could use a liquid measuring cup, but then people are gonna be like, that's a liquid measuring cup. <laughs> Why okay. would you do that, you dummy? Perfect. Okay, that looks like four. Man, it's so interesting how radioactive that color is. I know. Like, what do they use? Like, this is, it's just, it's just so strangely radioactively orange. Oh yeah, now we get to pulse this? Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, all right, witness me. Sometimes you have to like unclick it and then re-click it. Or it might be this. Hello? I haven't used it. That, it's not supposed to do that. Here, let's, let's start taking out yeah. this. Oh. No! <laughs> oh. You took this out, the whole. You gotta put it in first, cause otherwise you can't nope. get it under the. It's still not locking. <laughs> Oh, it was backwards. This needs to go up here? Oh. Oh yeah, I do kind of remember that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> How pulse does it need to be? Crumbs. Like powder or crumbs? Well, there's no chunks, so just keep going. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. So we're gonna, um, in a bowl, combine about half of that with the other dry ingredients. Wow, it's so staticky, watch this. When I push it down. Yeah. Do you see them oh, like yeah. jumping all over the place? Like, how sure are we that Cheetos aren't styrofoam? <laughs> like, are we sure? <clears throat> no. Okay. Maybe they're cousins. Yeah. Don't. Do it for the vibe. Actually, do you want to try a little bit? I like them in their whole form more. I don't like them pre-crushed. No. <laughs> Careful. All right, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna add the regular cookie ingredients. So one and a quarter cup flour. Look at this unique shot I'm getting. Yeah, baby, top-down rig. <laughs> Your portable top-down rig. Okay, one and a quarter. Then we got baking soda. It was the last, last time we used that baking soda to make um, super glue dice. Yes. <laughs> we don't do much baking. <laughs> no. <laughs> a tablespoon of cream of tartare. Is that tasty? Oh. It's not tasty. Wait, three tablespoons? Three, tea three teaspoons. Three it's, teaspoons. It's one tablespoon, but I can't fit the tablespoon right. in there. That's a lot of cream of tartare. Right? Okay, and then we'll add some salt. Good yes. old salt. 
The Cheetos didn't have enough. <laughs> yeah, apparently. And we'll combine that real quick. Is there no sugar? You do the dry and then the wet and the sugar goes with the wet because you cream it with the butter. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. In another bowl, cream together the sugar, butter, and shortening. Quarter cup of butter. Mm. Quarter is, cup? Yeah, which is half a stick, which is about this chunk. Okay, cool. No wonder cookies are so good. Half a cup of sugar. Okay. And quarter cup of shortening. Oh. Oh, it's so thick. Oh. All right, so you mix the fat and the sugars together? Yep. I guess I could get my handheld thingy thingy. They don't say to do the handheld boobies, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. The handheld boobies. Yeah. I think, let, I think let's get it. All right. Huggy. Okay, now we're gonna um, add an the egg. egg to it. Oh. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. You know, we are going over to a friend's house tonight. Maybe we should bring these cookies and see I, what people think about it. I think we should bring them some treats. Yeah. You know, because our friends are deserving of our, our high effort cookies. Ah, oh, man, I just realized I forgot some ingredients. Looks like we gotta buy more. Sure thing, let's go to the store. <laughs> Hi, do you suffer from bulky wallet syndrome? There's a cure. Get yourself a slim wallet from Ridge, the sponsor of today's video. Ridge has totally redefined the wallet. It's as slim as possible while still being able to expand to hold up to 12 cards plus cash. There are over 30 colors and styles you can choose from. One of my favorites is the burnt titanium. Plus there are RFID blocking, so you cannot get digitally pickpocketed, which is important since literally anyone can just buy these little transceivers. That seems illegal. You know what also seems illegal? How good Ridge's return policy is. You mean because you can test drive it for 99 days and then return it for a full refund if you don't love it? Exactly. Between their lifetime warranty, 3 million customers, and 50,000 five-star reviews, you can feel confident when you choose Ridge. To get it for yourself or as a gift, go to ridge.com slash Evan and Caitlin and use code Evan and Caitlin for 10% off. That's ridge.com slash Evan and Caitlin and code Evan and Caitlin for 10% off. I believe next it's combine the dry into the wet. I'm just gonna add a chunk of it. I love the slightly orange tint. Oh yeah. That's oh, part of the charm. I smell the cheese. See, wow, look at how much is drying it out already. Okay. Almost done incorporating this. It is quite dry. That looks incredibly dry. I haven't done much baking, but I, even I know that's dry. It's quite dry. You've done some baking. It's dry. I still think I can form it into balls after we chill it though. Yeah. So speaking of which, let's go put this in the fridge and we'll be back in half an hour. Mm. It looks the mm -hmm. same, but colder. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, how big are these balls? <laughs> you can kind of see in the picture. I printed, I printed this out. <laughs> this big. Looks like golf ball-ish size. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very grainy. It's very grainy and mealy. As if it was made of styrofoam? As if it was made out of corn. <laughs> Which, you know, it is. About that big? Yeah, so you're gonna roll it and then coat it in Cheeto dust. Now, do I put it here and hope it melts or do I squish it? Don't squish it. All right. Okay, now we just repeat. Mmm, they look like little meatballs. <laughs> Or like a uh, little round Cheeto ball puffs. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now let's see how these bake. Oh, look at those. They are wow. quite puffy. They're definitely cracking. They look fancy gourmet. Right? They smell like macaroni and cheese. They look fancy gourmet. It smells like we walked into a shop that exclusively makes mac and cheese and sugar cookies. I give this a 50% chance 
of being a success. Oh my gosh, it's falling apart. It's like, it's like melting. Oh no, should we let it cool longer? It's just crumbling. Maybe it's just a crumble cookie. Well, do your best. Your expressions are taking me on a journey. What's the texture like? What's the flavor like? Talk to me. It's an arc. When you first put it in your mouth, you're, you're, you're scared. The initial impression is Cheetos. And then you eat a little more and you're like, oh, no, it's just a good sugar cookie. It's just like a tasty sugar cookie. Oh, it's Cheetos coming through. And then the aftertaste hits you of cheese. Okay, I'm curious. So I'll say it's not the worst. This is the best Cheetos thing we have ever made. This might be something you're interested in. I told you, it's very crumbly. I'm wondering if I didn't know there was Cheetos, how, let's how not, much of the Cheetos would I taste? Let's, let, it's let's, not bad. Let's give this to someone without telling them what it is <laughs> and then see what they think. It's kind of good. It's kind of good. I might give this a like seven out of ten. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Okay, so the last cookies they were pretty good, but they were kind of complex, like a lot of ingredients, right? Is this one just going to be ramen? No, <laughs> but it is only two ingredients. One of them is under here. Oh, wait, two ingredients? The other ingredient is this. It's literally 24 snack size Reese's Buttercups and one egg. This is gonna be so incredibly rich. I know, right? Doesn't it seem like it's just gonna be, like how how is it not just eating a Reese's cup? Like, what is the egg gonna do, It's gonna really? be like an egg, eggy Reese's cup. And like, it looks like cookies. Like, look at my, my <laughs> look at my printout. So we um, we unwrap all 24 of the peanut butter cups and place them in the food processor. Then do we beat them? No, we put them in the food processor and then we add an egg to the food processor. And we blend it with the egg? Yup. And then we drop it a tablespoon at a time onto here. And I think an interesting thing it also says is you're supposed to grease the parchment paper, which tells me it's gonna be real sticky. It's gonna be real sticky. It's gonna be real sticky. It smells like Halloween. Yeah, it does. Before we before we do this, I kind of want to try one. I, I would just like to eat a spoonful of peanut butter. Yeah, I'm I'd, cool I'd, rather, I'd rather <laughs> eat like peanut butter, just straight up. But hey, maybe the egg, maybe the, the one egg. We'll save it all. We'll save it all. Oh <laughs> yeah, yep. oh yeah. Oh, it's violent. Oh yeah. Now, how much do we do this? Creamy. I would say just Chocolate tornado! Look at it go! Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and then we're gonna add the egg. Whoa, whoa, smell, smell and look. Well, <laughs> look, it look. looks like mud or, or poop. <laughs> <laughs> or chocolate ice cream. I wasn't gonna say that. It was chocolate ice cream. Okay. Look at that beautiful, beautiful crack. Oh, it's so, just, it's so thick. But the egg is gonna magic things together. Yup. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 I think that has been fully, fully pulverized and cream. Uh, oh my looks, gosh. Oh my God, it looks so disgusting. <laughs> if you think about some of the comparisons earlier, <laughs> don't demonetize this YouTube. This is edible. I mean, it's food. <laughs> this is food. Oh, it really does look like something oh, though. Oh, the texture. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, it's no, like baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> And then it says drop like tablespoon size. Oh, 
He's not done. <laughs> okay. It says to drop tablespoon sized dollops. The first. And this is to kind of flatten it with palm. Those were fingers! Thank you. Oh, it Are is. Are you sticky. happy now? Yep. I don't even know what to say. We're just baking chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah. But I'm excited to see what happens. What? They're puffy. Well, they definitely spread out and puffed a bit. I really just want to like, oh. Oh, oh no. Here, I think these really need to cool. They smell pretty good. They smell kind of burnt oh, to me. Oh, look at that. They've wow. hardened up a lot. They're still... A little bit soft, but they're kind of gooey in a weird it's way. It's kind of cookie-ish. Does it just taste like a Reese's? It's better than a Reese's. <laughs> really? I know, right? It is better. It's better. How is it better? It's still so sweet though. It's still so sweet. It's so sweet. Not- This could have really benefited from like some flour. Maybe some salt. Some salt? Some salt would really help. You know, but I think if I was to rank it, I would give it like a four. I would say five, so let's do 4.5. Okay. I have to say, we are biased because we don't like sweet stuff, like super sweet stuff. and. In our Rice Krispie videos, we've gotten a lot of feedback saying like, ooh, but I love that, even though it's really sweet. I think your sweet bias is kicking in. I'd say mm. that if you really like sweet things, this could be a seven or an eight. All right, now it's ramen. <laughs> it's not ramen, but it is exciting. <laughs> Habanero cookies. Five habaneros. Are we de-seeding these? We are de-seeding them. Okay, good. <laughs> but still, five habaneros in like, what isn't a big batch of cookies? This should be illegal. This isn't a legal cookie. Now, it says to mince these. Mince. So like, cut them as tiny as physically possible. Well, first I'm gonna cut the outsides off. Yeah, Kinda yeah, like we do yeah. with, with uh, normal peppers. Yeah. Are you okay? Our knives are so dull. No, they're fine. I'm like slicing over here. Hey, I'm slicing here. <laughs> and it's 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 not just like Th that's going. like my main knife. Baby, this needs to be sharpened. <laughs> this knife. Okay, fine. Use the other knife then. You can use this knife. I like this <laughs> knife. This is my favorite knife. <laughs> oh yeah, this is way better. This is a million times sharper. Okay, this one is a little dull. Feel, feel, feel put this one on against it. It's a little better. You smell it in the air? I like it. I mean, I do too. I, I like spicy things. Have you things. ever just eaten a raw habanero? Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm. Good. It's yeah. not that spicy. It just is like a, it's like a bell pepper that has a little bit of tingle in it. Bell pepper plus. Bell pepper plus. It's not that spicy. You know, let me try a little bit. Oh, oh, whoa. You got a whoa. seed? Oh. Oh, that one's spicy. What? Why? It's the, uh, uh. It's the inside. It's the pith. We got the pith. Okay, so include a little bit of pith for a little punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one had Whoa. some fire. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> Okie dokie.
cookie. Now, these actually get put in with the wet ingredients. Okay, in a large bowl, mix the peppers, the sugar, the butter, vanilla, and eggs. Then just beat it. Yes. It's like a cream corn with carrots in it. Or like mashed potato with carrots in it. Oh yeah, 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 more mashed potato. Let's move on to the dry ingredients. We're gonna add flour, baking soda, and salt. So this is the first cookie creation we've created today that doesn't involve something like factory made. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? This involves fresh produce. Yeah, this involves fresh produce. Right, Man, this is, this is like a workout. Baking is like... Extreme. Baking, baking is extreme. <laughs> okay. So it looks like these are pretty tiny. It says drop by rounded teaspoonfuls onto ungreased cookie sheets. Whoa, that's tiny. Yeah, there we go. Okay, baby. Yeah, got it. Sleep tight. Whoa. Mm. It's smelling real good in here. Those could be anything. Those could be carrots, tomatoes. Do mm. we warn people what they are? We probably should. Well, let's see how spicy they are. Yeah. Mm. Nice and soft. Mmm. Oh, I feel it. Okay. <laughs> We're definitely gonna have to warn people about these. <laughs> now, is it tasty? It's tasty. <laughs> you said that with such a large question mark. The taste of the cookie is good. The taste of habanero is good. Are they good together? I don't know. It's like really spicy for a cookie. Like it's a good level of spice for like a taco. Are these fully cooked through? Yeah. What do you think about the spice? That's the main thing. Kind of fun. It's a little bit of a gamble. Every time you bite in, are you gonna get a hot part? Are you gonna get like a not as hot part? Yeah, it's kind of fun. You know, I don't hate it. We could turn this into like a little bit of a, <laughs> Ooh, ah, there it is. A little like a uh, game. Yeah. Oh. Like which bite is spicy? Mm-hmm. Uh, treat or heat? Sweet or heat? Again, is this a cookie for everybody? No. But if you like hot things and you like cookies, I think it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I don't know. I, I would rank it lower than the others. I mean, well, I'm not, I wouldn't rank it lower than my original ranking of the Reese's one. You just bumped that. I think this is like a six. Yeah. So we took our cookies to our friend's house and with a surprising amount of trust. Cheetos? <laughs> they bravely tried our strange looking creations. Seafood? We didn't tell anyone what the ingredients were until after they tried them. And one weird trend is that several people thought the Cheetos cookies tasted like Captain Crunch cereal. What's weird right. about that is that it does, like I know it's Cheetos, but it yeah. it tastes like know. something else. This is actually like my favorite. Captain Crunch. That's what oh. it is. <laughs> Captain Crunch. It tastes like Captain Crunch. <laughs> what does it remind you of? The texture will give yeah, away the... and color. Captain Crunch. <laughs> Person. It's puffy Cheetos. Cheetos. No. Oh, sh oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did it blow your mind a little bit? No, now you not you like said it, it and now it's Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> no one was able to guess the two ingredients in our Reese's Cup cookies, but like I guessed, they ended up being a crowd favorite. It's really good. Oh, yeah. This one's my favorite. Cheetos. Yeah, that yeah. one's good. It's really sweet. It's good. Yeah. It's actually not bad. That's yeah, I like, like that one. one. The habanero cookies were the most divisive. They were some people's favorites and others did not like them at all. <laughs> oh, no. I think that was pretty good. Yeah, right? Yeah, right? I mean, it did get better like as it cooled off and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate it, sorry. <laughs> I'm good with that. It's kind of tasty, it right? Is, I like it. Sweet spicy is such a cool combo. In the end, four and a half out of five Cheeto cookies were eaten. All nine Reese's cookies were eaten. And surprisingly, 14 out of 24 habanero cookies were eaten.
So it turns out that maybe we are just harsh critics. Maybe knowing what goes into your food skews your perception of its taste. Or maybe our friends ate our cookies just to make us happy. Thanks for trying our cookies.